Hi, I'm Meenakshi Shade. I'm very, very proud to be at the Toronto International Film Festival here at TIFF and with a top Nepali film. This is Nabin Subha, whose film Gao Aiko Bato is here, A Road to a Village. And this is Daya Hang Rai, the top actor from Nepal who's starring in the film. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you for giving me your time. Um, it's not very often that a Nepali film makes it overseas, but they have in recent years may been making it to a lot of top festivals. Um, uh, so uh, welcome to TIFF. And what does it feel like to be here with this film? And um, uh, what was the starting point for this film? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, I used to organize uh, works of, uh, for the new uh, writers in Nepal. And uh, this guy come up with a very you know, uh, unique, uh, interesting uh, subject. Uh, it's about his nostalgia with his father. And uh, we started to work, uh, we, uh, you know, uh, encouraged him to, uh, you know, walk near it. And later, you know, uh, we thought that maybe uh, it will not be sufficient as a s uh, story. So we put uh, another layer of the road. So uh, it became, uh, then I also involved in the writing process. So. Uh, that's how it started. Lovely. So you're saying it came from a workshop where somebody wrote the story yeah. and you developed it. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, to me, um, very briefly, the story is about, to me, an exquisite lament for um, for a lost kind of life of people who usually migrate to big cities, to other countries, and there are people left behind. And what's very moving about this film, it's a tribute to those who are left behind. And from the few times that I visited Nepal, I've seen that it's very powerful a city of migrants. Everybody's looking to go somewhere and make it big elsewhere. And this is really honoring those who left behind. Uh, and it's very deeply moving because of that. So Daya Hang Rai, uh, he's the Amitabh Bachchan of Nepali cinema. Uh, what's wonderful about him he has done huge body of like 50 or 60 films and yet uh, it has a whole range from masala mainstream films to a lot of independent art house films this is uh, his second film at tiff actually um, in fact he was also in um, Deepak Ronyar's Highway, which was at the Berlin Film Festival. He was in Seto Surya, which was at the Venice Film Festival, which was also a TIFF. But this is his first time at Toronto. So welcome, Daya Hang Rai. Yeah, thank you. Uh, tell us what it feels like to be here with your film. Uh, <laughs> Haan, yeah, no problem. Well, I am I am very happy to be here. I am very happy to be here. I am very very proud and happy that we are here. And uh, this is a very big platform for Nepali stories. So we are very happy. Wonderful. And in fact, there is uh, a red suitcase by yeah. uh, Fidel Devkota at Venice. So it's on a roll. And of course, there's been um, there's been quite a history recently in the last maybe a few decades of Nepali cinema. And it's an instructional for us that a lot of Nepali cinema is way ahead of many Indian filmmakers because they had um, also, um, Kalo Pothi, that was at Venice Film Festival, uh, Black Hen. So it has a lot of international co-productions, a lot of foreign funding that comes in for very world-class cinema. Mm -hmm. So uh, you were one of the pioneers of the movement mm -hmm. of independent cinema. Uh, how have you seen the Nepali film scene change from the time you entered the industry to what it is now and internationally acknowledged? Yeah, uh, you know, I'm very happy that our generation started to go uh, to, indip uh, you know, uh, to the festivals, starting an independent cinema. We want to tell uh, our own stories. Before that, you know, as you said, that uh, only the mainstream was there and very commercial. Uh, yeah, we also, you know, came from that same background because we learned uh, of, uh, making of films, watching, uh, you know, Bollywood masala movies. Yeah. But later uh, we feel that, you know, we have to start our own, uh, you know, local cinema. So to make a local cinema, uh, we have to have uh, some kind of difference uh, to the Bollywood cinema. So it started like that and, you know, uh, we went to uh, uh, some festivals, not big as Toronto, but we started with a very uh, small festivals. And later, uh, you know, uh, there is a second generations who are making quite big in international arena. And uh, we're very, you know, uh, it's changing a lot. And because of this uh, independent filmmaking, 
the mainstream also changing wonderful yeah. wonderful i should actually like to uh, just add here that uh, dabin dai's earlier films uh, goodbye kathmandu and also numa fung have also been to a number of film festivals so he has actually opened up the world to nepali cinema and opened up the doors for later filmmakers to come as well uh, but um, tell me this particular thing i don't know i was weeping when i saw your film gawai kobato because um, this is something we've seen in every country yeah. everybody wants to run to the big shiny yeah. lights and uh, there's actually nobody to look after old parents or look after the house or uh, it's also traditional values that yeah. you were commenting yeah. on so yeah. much so tell us how the the story shaped to mm. take in all these issues but it's just flowing like a family story right yeah uh, yeah uh, you know for me uh, art is not activism you know absolutely so, yeah uh, it's more uh, art so i wanted to tell but i i, I wanted to you know uh, tell lot of things in layer uh maybe people can get it or maybe they don't but you know uh, i like to uh, you know uh, uh capture the moments that right now what our society is facing in the villages not only the villages you know in, in even the big city like kathmandu people are as you said are living and you know uh, last year only i think more than uh, uh, 300000 students went to abroad oh to my. study so you know oh right now the university are uh, you know uh, they don't get uh, enough students student to oh. study so uh, that's you know the yeah. scenario so maybe i can comment on that and maybe people can reflect it beautiful you know, so that's beautiful that's yeah dayanji um what to you was the challenge of because you've been such a famous actor doing mainstream very successful films mm -hmm. and this is a very delicate small film and of course i'd very much like to acknowledge pashupati rai who's a top actress who's also here at yeah. toronto at tiff and we're very proud that she could be here um but it's a very quiet in tone it's a very small film but it's saying something very important तो आपने इसके ये रोल के लिए प्रिपेयर कैसे किया पे रोल जब मैं नवीन दाई ने काम कर भैस पचाड़ी खुशी को पचाड़ी लगने कुरा में कई तो आपको भोगाई भी थी जो बाल्यकाल में अलग गाँव देखे थे भोगे अस पड़ी तर धे आदत तो भाग धे मिटी में बसे कारण मैं चुनौती ये थी कि उसके के सोच नहीं महत्वपूर्ण कहो तो महिला ने कि सोच हे सामान्य स्क्रिप्ट में तो यही सोच भर मेरे आपको सोचाई बड़ो महिला को कैरेक्टर निल्न को कठिन थे तेस को लगी हमी काठम्डू बसर तैयारी करे पंद्रह दिन जो गाँव में बस्त को सहज बना थे ठूल चुनौती उसको मैला को जो के सोचने तरीका अस्को शारीरिक हावभाव नहीं थी कठिन से he has some resemblance and nostalgia about oh, that thing and uh, yeah. yeah and uh, you know uh, he brought up in the village but you know uh, mo now he lives in the city so he lost all these connections mm. so uh, uh, he was when he got the role he was more interested on what mala thinks uh, and you know uh, in the script there was uh, some indications but not as clear so uh, it was a challenge for him to you know get that thing uh, how mala thinks and uh, second is uh, the gesture and the whole body rhythm mm. uh, in uh, walks up there was a walks up for uh, a month and you know 15 days uh, in the villages so during that 15 days villages helped him to you know uh, oh. observe all this and you know come with this uh, mala's character wonderful so he's actually beautiful bamboo craftsman are you are you making some beautiful baskets by now are you a good artist in uh -huh. bamboo making uh जो मैं तैं बना तो बना सकते हैं तर ते भाई अरुण डिफ्रेंट कुछ तैं मैं प्क्टिस करें अने बच्चा बेला में अलि चोयासंग खेले थे 
तर मैं जे बेच्छू जे बना तो मैं सक तरभंदा अरु तो एकदम गाड़ो बाँस को एकदम गाड़ो कला हो तर ते भाई अरुज मैं तैं के प्क्टिस मैं सकते थे सो ड्यूरिंग द वर्कसप हि ट्राई टू मेक सम यू नो सम सम बास्केट्स सम अदर स्टप्स नट सेम एज दैट वट हि यू नो इन वट इज इन इन द फ्लेम uh he uh in his childhood he also done some some of that oh lovely yeah. <laughs> lovely so, lovely so but uh he can't make what he makes in the uh, uh, in film, the film but uh, you know uh, so, uh, he can make other things nice <laughs> very nice okay. i actually wanted to ask you so when when you're making films from smaller countries around india in nepal in sri lanka and pakistan bangladesh uh so i find that uh, my impression is that all these countries cinemas are hugely bullied and dominated by bollywood hollywood masala stuff r r r and uh, yeah. i don't know what was last year uh, you know um ba- bahubali i don't know yeah i remember r r there was like yeah, a court case know. with four am screening mm-hmm. and there was a court yeah. case and stopping them yeah. so how as an artist working in nepali cinema are uh, how are you able to bring audiences to see your films i mean nepali cinema as against hollywood and bollywood is there a way as an artist you can deal with that sorry you want to translate mm. did you understand mm thore alikati thore bollywood domination garaycha testo ma aphno thau chai kasari garaycha um pachhilo samay chai alikati nepali film maker le pani aphno kisim ko katha jo chai bollywood hollywood jasari bollywood ma chai pani के भाज रिमेक कर कमर्सि परंपरा में तेज को प्रभाव थी हिजोसम आज भी अलि तर नेपाली दर्शक अथवा मेकर को सोच अलग आपको कथा भशिश भैर अल प्राय प्राय आप कथा फिल्म बड़ी काम पाई रहु तर ते फर्मुला नहीं कस तर आपको कथा आपनेपन से अलग होना दर्शक ने तेला बड़ी मात्रा में आपको पन हेरा हि रखे रेरे कोशिश ते हो कि भर्शक आपको कथा भन आपनेपन भाई फिल्म करने इच्छा भी अलग कोशिश ते भैर में या बलिवुड इट्स अ बिग 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 यू नो pressure from bollywood but uh, what he say is uh, that people are connected to the local stories mm-hmm. more than the bollywood yeah people uh, go go for the entertainment uh, to see a bollywood but also you know the people uh, uh, in nepal they want to see more uh, local cinemas uh, local stories that they don't tell in bollywood Wonderful. so uh, yeah that's only the key that you know the filmmakers are now started to make more uh, local stories even in uh, masala so uh, he can you take his uh, his uh, his most of the his books yeah. is related to the you know local stories so wonderful yeah people wonderful. come for that okay and i also wanted to ask you because um, uh you've also been a pioneer uh, connected with local stories to w- to do with the indigenous film movement uh, uh, which is very wonderful which is not given a lot of importance in many countries can you tell us about your work you have a film festival archives can you tell us uh, about you, it uh, yeah first uh, we uh, you know uh, what i felt is uh, you know we were not represented in the uh, cinemas uh, most of the cinemas are uh, influenced by bollywood and you know Uh, actor are more uh, you know related to the features of you know yeah. bollywood features right so we uh, started maybe we can change this by you know uh, train training more filmmakers and uh, getting a story from there but now uh, w- uh, the situation is changed uh, there are lot of successful uh, you know actors like him in uh, mainstream uh, in also uh, independent cinema and uh, but still it's not representing the whole country sure. like uh, uh, madhes you know the p- uh, people from plain are not uh, their stories are not in uh, uh, in uh, on the screen on the, on the screen mm-hmm. and even the uh, people from far west right so even though they are from uh, you know Uh, we say a kasari yeah. uh, different from the our feature mm-hmm. so now uh, what i am trying to help them 
to come wonderful uh, to the, you know wonderful. Uh, like uh, Deepak is doing a uh, new film on uh, yeah. uh, Madhya subject so yeah. uh, we also training last uh, just few few weeks ago I was in Janakpur to train uh, women filmmakers oh nice wonderful so now it's changed a little bit but you know uh, within uh, 20 years we started that maybe well, we we need our kind of stories to tell but now uh, uh, in uh, we are in the positions that uh, okay uh, uh, we are we are now in you know uh, our stories are there but you know to help encourage the, it further. Uh, yeah, for Lovely. Yeah. Very, very delighted. So tonight's the big world premiere of Gao Aiko Bato. I cannot be more proud of Nepali cinema making to the big screen Toronto. Thank you very, very much for giving me your time. All the very best. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste.